Hello everyone, this is Michael Stephen Vargas from WeGoChess.com So, if you have been playing chess lately, then you know that there's so much to learn in chess and when we learn all these things, it's really hard to identify when are we becoming really good at it, right? Are there any signs or indication that we can look for in order to see if we are making progress? Basically, is there a way to tell that we are actually good at chess or good enough in chess um, because it first of all it will give us motivation to continue pursuing since we are actually seeing results um, then second we could fill the gaps or um, maybe shortcomings in our studying routine in order to actually see the results and so that's what this video is all about all the signs that you can look for to just um, recognize that you, to a degree, is already good at chess. One good indication that you are becoming good at chess is you start to memorize your own games. So, I have played a game um, just overnight, last night, and I can still remember it, right? It's, it's almost already overnight again, and I can still recall at least what's the opening that has been played, and it is not the only game that I have played. I have also played a lot of games and usually this comes naturally if you already acquired the so-called intuition to actually remember these games. And once you get this automatically that you don't even like consciously need to, to, to um, tell yourself that you need to memorize it, you still do it anyway, it's a good indication that you are becoming good at chess. And that does not only it's your games, you are also likely to remember games of other people, just games that you like, um, even without trying. So if you can memorize um, your own games and games of other people, then it's, it's a good sign. Next thing you should look for is the so-called plateau. So in chess, there in improvement, like in any field, but in chess, there is something that we call a stagnant growth. This is where the growth becomes stagnant and just flat for a really long time. And everybody experiences this, even professionals. However, uh, what distinguishes um, really good players from, from maybe even decent players is that their rate of plateau is much, uh, much longer. So most, of, most people who reach the elite levels actually encounter their plateau at 2000 rating and uh, most individuals actually encounter it much earlier let's say um, 1400 or 1500 or 1600 whatever but if you see that your plateau is much higher then it's really good indication that you are good at chess next sign is not really um, so something that is skill based maybe it could be argued but it is um, if you can play for extensive periods of time with minimal confusion or uh, just basically you have a long endurance, right? You would tolerate hours of playing chess, then it's a good indication that you are getting used to this because beginners usually can't, or not the beginners, but those who are just starting to learn usually can't tolerate long hours of playing. And if you are playing decently, or the decent time controls then you are likely to play like a classical time format or something that is either um, mid long mid tier long or even really long right if you can tolerate the playing chess exclusively um, without making a lot of mistakes then it's a good sign that you are good at chess next sign that may appear to indicate that you are good at chess is passion. Now, a lot of uh, people argue about this, so just because you have passion doesn't necessarily mean you're good. Correct. However, in chess, I found that most of the time, when you do have the passion, usually it is during the time where you are winning a lot of games, right? When also, when you're just enjoying the things that you do, it is likely that you're going to put in the work and you are actually um, going to put in your best shot. And so, the the best for personally the best my best form comes from when i really enjoy the game during the period that i enjoy the game so if you're starting to see that you you're developing passion to this 
then um, I think that's pretty great. I think that's a sign also that you are good at chess. Next measurement is a little bit more metrical, right? Um, which is chess puzzles. So chess puzzles, um, this is short positions, a uh, series of positions that you solve in order to find a tactical shot in the position or just make it completely winning, right? There's a very interesting thing you, you could do with chess passes is you could also measure it, um, use it to measure your aptitude in chess. So if you could measure, uh, if you could like solve a chess puzzle, 60% of the time, it is a really great sign. I, I mean, uh, most beginners and even decent players who, who just pick up chess usually won't get it right 60% of the time. So if you could get it right, at least 60% of the time, then that is pretty incredible. And um, it's definitely um, one of those indications that you are excelling in this. Next is a little bit more obvious, which is the accumulation of rating. So if you accumulate rating fast, or not necessarily that you have a higher rating, but the progress is fast, that you went, for example, from 1,000 1, rating to um, 1,500 rating, right? In a span of, let's say, one month. That's already great. It's one of the clearest signs that you're good at this. Because if you could achieve that much progress and you have a high plateau, then what more could you achieve if you continue playing chess? So if you could achieve something like that, then this is a good indication that you are really good at chess. Next um, sign is if you could easily spot checkmates. So checkmates are some of the simplest yet important part of learning chess. If most beginners and most dis even decent players can spot checkmates sometimes, but they can't really spot that well in real games. They couldn't apply it as much. And there are also like advanced checkmates like Smothered Mate or Anastasia's Mate um, that is pretty much harder to look for in real games. If you could find, if you notice that you could actually identify these checkmating patterns much more easily, then that's a real sign, of clear sign of growth. The next sign is if you have a good end game win rate. So notice when I tell end game win rate, not just win rate. This is because when you win in the middle game, it's usually because your opponent made a blunder or a mistake and an accuracy that we just take an advantage. If you win in the end game, then it's likely that it's a it's against an opponent with a stronger opponent, like against an opponent with stronger abilities than you or just equal abilities with you. And um, I think this metric matters more than actual win rate, which is the end game win rate. So if you could um, beat, consistently beat someone who is better than you or at least equal in strength than you in the end games, then this is great, right? This is a good sign. Last sign is if you could face strong players with little to no intimidation. So um, it's really just a matter of confidence, right? If I mean, confidence is not everything, but it is at least something. If you would face a stronger, stronger opponents, players, stronger opponents, maybe even title players, without having to be intimidated, then how would you accomplish that? What, what makes you have acquired that kind of confidence? Of course, it is confidence in your abilities, in your um, study, in, in, your, in the effort that you have put into this. So I think it's also a good sign that you are having progress or becoming good. And that is all. Um, that's just my general thought on how you could identify you are actually becoming good at chess. So if you have more ideas, you can feel free to comment below. And um, because I, I don't know everything, it's just the things that I think of, that's already, um, that's only what I can say. So that's on, oh yeah, that's only what you can say. So if you have more thoughts on this, we could discuss it in the comments. And um, that is all for this video. Sleep well and play chess and give us a like if you actually like the video so